That's what Tarkan told me. The, their yeah. average is uh, uh, mid of 20s, end of 20s probably, and Bamberg is uh, far in the okay. 30s. Yeah, but uh, so they have that many experience. Years experience. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is a moment we would see uh, Ege in white, in Bamberg in blue, and uh, Ege uh, was the first on the ball, but uh, this was a Bamberg game we, we, we know. They were really fast and awake, and that was a really uh, the first seconds promising for, this uh, for the rest of the game, but that was fast, that was concentrated, focused on the water rugby with a lot of movement, and uh, here is Bamberg attacking the Ege basket for the first time, and uh, this is a uh, quite awake uh, Bamberg I see here, and they're moving fast around the basket from Ege, and Ege is already on the pressure. We don't see what's happening here on the close side of the basket, but uh, there seems to be pressure, and uh, Bamberg is still holding on to the ball on the close side. It's going out in the pool. And uh, one Ege player uh, lost the ball to uh, 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 one uh, Bamberg player lost the ball to Ege, recovered it from him, and back on the way to the Turkish basket. So now I'm with you, sorry, I was taking some note. So um, we have been mostly on Ege's half. Huh? Bamberg has been yeah. more yeah. present, trying to build up an attack and going over the close corner. So uh, Ege is now heavily defending in the direction uh, um, of uh, the, the closed side and that opens up space on the open side uh, where the exchange area is and the ball is uh, under the basket back and forth, the Bamberg player, yes that's it, already the first goal, okay, yeah. Bamberg is waking up here in this game and they show us what they are capable of and uh, thank you Bamberg, I really have to oh. say. Uh, watching you this way is uh, what we know of you. Beautiful to watch. And Ege now has to go into the offense, and now it's their chance because. Um, the chance? Why? The chance to go to the Bamberg basket because they uh, have the ball and now. The ball, yeah. And let's see what they can do. Wow, the Bamberg guys are breathing really heavy. Here we go. Ege is coming. Watch out, Bamberg. Well, it's hard for Ege to get through. It's very physical game. Yeah. Strong. Don't forget Ege just And it was out play. of the playing area. Free throw. Blue. Free throw against Ege. We're back at the Ege basket within seconds, I guess. We have 211 uh, people watching the live stream. But this is the second very uh, hard game of area today because they yep. play against Flipper. Flipper and now against Bamberg. The Flipper game was an exhausting one for yeah, Ege. Even if it was uh, almost, I mean, four and a half hours ago, uh, still, I mean, your bones demanding. have to hurt after yep. that kind of game. So Bamberg is uh, leading 1-0 after uh, less than uh, three minutes. And Ege is in ball possession. And that was a pass backwards. Um, normally it's a dangerous thing in, in playing this way against a team like Bamberg, but it worked out for Ege, and they're uh, very well concentrated and keeping the ball, but the ball was snatched away by a um, Bamberg player, and that's what we know of Bamberg. They just seem to call the ball to them, and this was a very, very well done attack from uh, one of the Bamberg players through the open side, and the ball is now on the close side on the bottom of the basket, and there's a heavy fighting. You see only it's a huge pile of bodies there, and the fighting, and the ball is dropping down in the corner. And it's recovered by... Uh, Ege player, and he tries to thrim uh, through the pool uh, to the other side of the wall. But this is what we know of Bamberg. You swim past them, and suddenly the ball is in their hands. Yes. You don't even see in what's happening yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. And uh, very well. Ege will have a, a difficult job to succeed here. 
Yes, and Bamberg have been trying for so long. To Here we go, Bamberg on the open side, and uh, Eggy is really concentrating on the corner side because they know they're attacking from there, but they leave the open side open, and that's the favorite spot for one of the Bamberg players to wait for the ball to receive, and now they are attacking from above. The, they're doing a great it's, it's job physical. Yeah, moving, I mean, because uh, um, Bamberg is right and left, and the defender is so difficult to keep both players you know yeah. on they should use the the offense to to oh, protect this, this area was a great pass from above to the bottom and uh, but the defender got into place and uh, um, this is this has been the, this this hard. close quarter fight around the the uh, the basket with all these bodies is bone crunching you you, you can yeah. hear it it's like a knack, knack, wonk. it's it's like a pressure on every second of the body but Eger has been doing an amazing yeah. job defending that attack. I mean, this is like 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 a torpedo, you know, coming against your basket. I mean, they they really it's really it's good. And now a counter attack from Bamberg, and the goalie and the defender are coming into position from Eger. And it would be great if they could, you know, keep the ball for a little bit longer, so they can also catch a breath and and maybe you know start try to destabilize a little bit Bamberg. But Bamberg is doing. We all agree, and the audience, please, they are playing so much different than the games we saw before, right? I mean, yep. not crazy. That's and another team. Uh, but, well, okay, I mean, fair enough. That what they show until now um, was enough, and that's okay. Yeah, the yeah, good yeah. thing is yeah. they can call what they as can. As long as you win. And Exactly. If they can uh, bring it up in the moment they need it, and that's, that's the important thing, that they can perform um, the way it's, uh, it's needed. But don't, uh, uh, is it 2-0? Isn't it 2-0? Mm, no. thought it was, no, no, it wasn't yet. It wasn't yet. So it's a 1-0, and it's not over yet. We are still in the first half here in this game. And Bamberg from Germany against Ecke from Turkey. Come directly from the above, the, the goalkeeper was alone, but the, the defender arrived on time to help, stole the, the oh ball, and then wow. there was a four checking from all of the Bamberg that it was quite... Free throw. Uh, hard and um, there's a free throw. We were seeing pieces of equipment being dropped in the woods here. Uh. <laughs> the snorkels, fins, and that was a free throw for uh, Eger. So let's see if they can take advantage of this free throw and uh, catch breath and, and try to start making some pressure uh, I don't know in the ba Bamberg <laughs> basket. I get it and give the thing now to start. Wait for me. Well, this is really an exciting game, and it's good to see Bamberg this way. And uh, but I'm still uh, in hopes for uh, uh, Eggy here because uh, they are a, a top team and they have something in store. I guess if they can make it to the Bamberg basket, let's see what happens. And going in on the Jäger basket, there's a lot of pressure on Eggy here, and they're doing a good, jo good job defending. Um, you see how much push and force there is uh, on the attack. Sorry. Yeah, okay. We so were talking to Antje Franke again from the VDST, from the German Federation. She's uh, leaving the pool now. Okay, and again, uh, nothing changed. Heavy pressure, but no goal here. Eggy is doing an immense, think, yeah, incredible they job. Yeah. They even Bamberg doesn't succeed in the change of the goalkeepers to, to even in the hard pressure. And now Eggy succeeds in pushing free, but there's a call from the referee. Yeah. And it's a free throw against Bamberg. Another chance for uh, Ege. So but uh, we saw this forechecking from Bamberg. And it's really difficult for Ege to, to pass over 
in the three meter line in front of the Wait for my signal. in front of the Bamberg basket. Back up, back up here. What happened? Oh well, the egg. Oh well, that was a bit of a pushing. Pushing. That was <laughs> <laughs> crush. Um, okay, egg is coming. For, for Call from the referee and. Uh, yeah, no, the it's the, it's the time half. is over. Yeah, there was a question here about the um, orcas. They are playing, not um, semi. It, it, it is a kind of. Um, it's actually a triangular. It's not really semi-final. They, because we have nine teams, so we have a system where now the third, the, the um, after they play the quarter final, they each, the uh, each team that that won the quarter final then. Uh, play against each other in a triangular and for now we have a Karen Orcas and then it has to be defined between Langen and Barcelona and I guess it's going to be Langen that's going it's a, there is a, a gap in between Barcelona and Langen so I think it's going to be again Colombia Nor Norway and uh, Germany in the triangular uh, between um, from the positions from the first to the third place and the four to the six will be between Izmir, Copenhagen and Barcelona and then uh, the seven to the ninth place will be by between the Perth Riders, uh, Vienna and the Black Mermaid so this is how it's going to be for the women the, um, um, lo voy a repetir en español eh, los, los, las mujeres son nueve están haciendo triangulares entonces Orcas, Noruega y seguramente Alemania, es el partido de Alemania entre Alemania y Barcelona no se ha jugado todavía se va a jugar, es el partido que viene luego de este, pero bueno yo creo que si no pasa nada grave Alemania tendría que estar ganando entonces el triangular va a ser de Orcas, Karen y Langen, luego de del cuarto al sexto puesto va a ser Izmir, Copenhagen y Barcelona y del séptimo al noveno puesto eh, van a ser la Perth Riders, um, Vienna y the Black Mermaids. So that's. Uh, <laughs> so um, we have uh, we have Julian here from the uh, he played with the Colombian Orcas and is now playing in my team here in Berlin and it's really cool to have him here. Uh, maybe he can be with us. Um, when the Orcas is playing the next time, when it will be here, Orcas against Pol no, what is that? Molde. Molde. Ah, when? Yeah. <laughs> when at 4.30. 4.30. So maybe uh, uh, if you like, uh, Julian, you can he be here with us and give us some insights uh, into the, the game of uh, the Orcas because you played with them and uh, <laughs> we don't have uh, that many people knowing the inside training of the Orcas. It's very good to have an Orca in the team. <laughs> so uh, the time is counting. We have uh, nine seconds left in this game. Bamberg against uh, Ege, and uh, yeah, we have a one-zero score. But um, after what uh, Bamberg tried, uh, the the rest of the eight minutes, uh, they tried to score really hard and put a lot of pressure on the Ege basket, and uh, the Ege guys did an amazing job to defend their basket. Wow, that is. Uh, Head ball from one of the Bamberg players. It mm. almost looked uh, ex uh, um, um, not ex accidentally. Okay, Bamberg is in pole possession, and uh, we go back to the same uh, game we saw before. Bamberg is putting their, uh, raising their pressure on the basket and uh, what I see right here they the Ege has to be really careful with this open side no, mm, sorry I need to interrupt you uh, Nathis it's not that the Australian guys won a zero but it's a Czech uh, won a zero against the Perth Riders right the um, yeah well no because apparently in the uh, in the results, uh, it looks uh, that Australia won 8 0. Oh, uh, okay. No, it's the opposite, it's the other way around. Sorry. Uh, it is. Um we will uh, tell it. Oh, another goal here. Sorry, we have to. We try to be. Uh, we don't have sound from the pool area again. Was uh, we'll another goal? I will uh, tell that, yeah, it was another goal from Bamberg. Be back in a second. So, um, 
Yeah, we were uh, realizing that there's a, a mistake in the results that have been written uh, on the uh, website. So, um, Bamberg uh, scored another uh, goal and I wasn't looking. So, um, but they have been putting pressure, pressure and pressure, and we see what happens. I mean, it's difficult to keep up the defense for such a long time under such conditions. I mean, it's the second day of the Champions Cup. It's already the afternoon. Uh, the teams have two to three games already uh, in their bones. And, um, well, I mean, it uh, gets uh, harder to keep the concentration up, the condition up, the focus up, the, the mental strength up. And, uh, well, I mean, 2-0 for Bamberg, well deserved 2-0, Bamberg is delivering an amazing game, the first, uh, the, the best game they have played in, in the Champions Cup this year, so far. So, um, no, thanks, thanks for asking, I mean, no, no, it's fine, uh, th things like this is are really important because uh, otherwise it can really lead to uh, problems in the fixture, so... Um, so I'm back. I uh, told uh, the, the our uh, technical technical office to change that. They are aware of it. They will change it. Uh, we don't have sound right now from the pool area. They will uh, change that too. We have to uh, change the batteries from time to time. There's a little transmission device. But now we're saying that we missed the goal, but uh, uh, Bumber has been pressing and pressing and pressing, and uh, it is uh, difficult to keep up defending with such a and we have yet uh, now uh, one of the um, players under the goalie and uh, oh the Eger the played a great job uh, recovering and there is a free throw for Turkey because uh, of apparently grabbing the um, the mask El equipo de Orcas está llegando a la piscina. El equipo de Orcas masculino. Van a jugar contra Molde. So here Ege comes. Ege tries uh, now uh, really to to score, and uh, they go in hard, but it's difficult. The defense, the defense of Bamberg starts in the middle of the pool, and uh, for Ege to make it uh, to the basket, they really have to push a lot of hard into the defense and it tells the, the here you saw it uh, how the how the Bamberg player just went between the players and just snatched the ball away and with a decisive movement of the body through the ball uh, the ball to his player and uh, they are again in the attack it's a uh, it's amazing how they they move into the into the movements of the uh, other team and disrupt them and snatch the ball very well played and that's the the Bamberg play the Bamberg team we know and it's never over until it's over but there's a 2-0 lead and it's the second half sorry I'm back I had to have a little bit of chocolate yeah and the sorry the for our voice I mean it's breaking <laughs> More well, and more, it doesn't sound that good. Well, um, yes, <coughs> now the results are correct. Uh, uh, Triton Berun uh, did win 8 0 against uh, the Perth Raiders. I think it was uh, a, a round uh, first in the. We in have the a timeout for. It looks. Bamberg is uh, talking. Yeah. I think Lucas Tadas. 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 Lucas Tadas. Um, is uh, telling his guys what's going on in the pool. And the Turkish guys look quite relaxed. So, uh, two seconds for left for this timeout. Five minutes to go and two goals down for Ege, so... Uh, we have back we have sound back from right. from the pool area. Now we have uh, here the referees again. Ooh, that was a nice move uh, from a, from a, a, a defensive move, and now. Uh, 
Aegis going in uh, with a with a well, well. They they got intercepted at once. They tried to to do some magic there, but the magic of uh, Bamberg is stronger in this moment. And uh, really, they, they get the ball from nowhere. You don't see the passes of Ege, but uh, still Bamberg has their hands on it. And we have now in the middle of the pool a heavy cluster fight. And uh, ah, that was, that was a wrong pass from a Bamberg player. We don't see that very often from Bamberg. And um, in the hands. And that's why we're now at Two the pool, at the, the basket uh, of uh, Bamberg. And that was a, probably a chance for uh, Ege to score here. But didn't happen. And uh, Bamberg is again on the attack and already in the half of uh, Ege. And one attacker is going for the goalie. The, is attacked by a defender. And uh, the second wave comes in. We're on the close side here on at the basket. And uh, it's getting again physical. It's getting again more and more physical. And uh, this will be tough. Wow, this is uh, yeah. the ball is, is really like it has its own life. Yeah. It's moving very fast. Now this we have an a break uh, attack for Egega. Uh, but he's blocked a little bit player. more, uh, but they, they don't really get uh, through the the, 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 the the time to build up the wave. I mean Bamberg grabbed the ball and just uh, swims away. So they just get there and the closest they go to a score was these two players pushing again the, the goalie, but then um, Sadly, they, they lost it, so now... Uh, oh, that, that was, was a kick, kick from uh, one of the Ege player in the head of the Bamberg player. Should have been... A, I think that's the call for this kick. Yep. It's a no, free it's throw. Blow, blow. Yeah. It was advantage. Uh, they, the, the referee let the, the game go as an advantage for Bamberg, but then stopped it, uh, and now it's a free number. throw. That was a really... 15 out! Ah, yeah, that's a two minutes. For who in? Who in? Ah, okay. We are talking about the change here. It's not a two minute. <laughs> I thought it's for the kick because I think it was really hard. Yeah. Okay, well Bamberg is still attacking. Two minutes, eighteen left. Bamberg is going in. Two zero lead for Bamberg which is enough to win, but they really had to fight hard for these two goals. Ege is giving them nothing and they have to fight for every inch and uh, the Ege players you you can see it how they they put their all their will into every oh move they have and he one more great. chance and from Bamberg under the basket blue, yeah. and it's a uh, heavy defending and it's it's bodily exhausting even to watch it and the Aggie players, I guess, uh, will be really tired. It's a little bit uh, uh, easier for Bamba because they are in the attacking mode and they can uh, decide. They're, yeah, exactly. They're, they're deciding the pace the of speed, the game, exactly, the yeah. speed. And that's, that's a killer uh, when you are reacting to the pace. When you're reacting, we you cannot do you know, your own game. Yeah. That is just really... Um, and and Aggie is constantly in defense and the, the, they, the Bamba never raises the the pressure because the you never know when they go in like this like in this moment when they have a they wait for the change of the goalkeepers and then they go in with a lot of pressure 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 and, and now one is waiting under the goalkeeper and going in on the same goalkeeper again now we have the change that will be the chance to put the oh ball in but he's holding himself with really the <laughs> hands with the shoulder with his teeth <laughs> yeah he's really the, the goalkeepers uh, are really biting the wall uh, that was a little bit close to a penalty from my perspective here. And still, look at that. Uh, Ege can break free. And now we have even a fast Contra break through. Yeah. Oh, well oh that was okay. a grip on the mask. The next oh, they don't stop. They ch he, he bumped into the, the Bamberg player, number 10, and into the wall again. You saw the impact. And now we have oh, a comeback. Oh, oh, that was a chance for... Whoa, oh, and he scored! Great score! That was great score from the pass from the player above down to the one on the left and the goalkeeper didn't see it five coming. seconds left so didn't see it coming i mean it's five no seconds change. there's no chance at the but end result and but it was an amazing and deserved uh, goal yeah and imagine after the, uh, after a game you. against palmer with all this pressure they still managed to score in the last seconds yeah. that's that's amazing 
because you have to have the, the power to and the, 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 the will in the end of such a game when you had all this pressure still to go and try to score and succeed in scoring. I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, there was uh, quite a feature from Eggy here and uh, you can be sure we will see more from Eggy because here uh, we see uh, experienced players but when uh, the, the next generation of Eggy players comes up uh, it think it will change